putting up just over 200 points here. Now I want to bring in Tim Urbanowitz, Head of Research and Investment Strategy at Innovator ETFs. Tim, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining us. What's your reaction so far to how the markets have opened? Well, you know, I, I think one thing is is very clear from what we saw yesterday from the Fed and then today, and that is the fact that the markets are not buying what uh, Mr. Powell was selling yesterday. You know, if you look at some of the comments uh, from uh, Powell yesterday, he clearly opened the door for the pause on rate hikes, but tried to close the door on rate cuts. And even if you look this morning, what's being priced in, we still see multiple rate cuts that are being priced in before the end of the year. And this is a big disconnect that we're seeing right now. You know, on one hand, you have the bond market that expects those cuts. You see a deeply inverted yield curve. And the reality of it is to get to those cuts, you're probably gonna have to see things deteriorate quite a bit. Maybe it's a recession. Uh, and on the other hand, you have the equity market that's still pricing at 18, 19 times earnings, nowhere near stress levels. So at the end of the day, we think it means continued volatility in bonds, continued volatility in equities. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, we had that 25 basis point rate hike. What should investors, you know, kind of be taking away from this uh, moving ahead here? Well, I think it, it, the, the number one priority needs to be risk management right now. You know, if you look at where we're at, we're coming to a very crucial point in the hiking cycle. And if you look at some of our research, what we have seen is that on average, about six to seven months after that last hike, that is typically when we see the recession start. So we need to be prioritizing risk management right now. Uh, if you look at the ETF market, I think this is one of the big reasons that for the second year in a row, you're seeing record inflows into defined outcome ETFs, one of the fastest growing categories of ETFs out there. Uh, and if you talk to advisors, their clients are very nervous. And I think the attraction to defined outcome ETFs is really the ability to help remove a lot of those unknowns remove if we do enter a recession, some of those risks and, and the risks of continued rate hikes down the road. Yeah, Tim, now some other market moving news that we got yesterday, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen uh, saying that she would support banks, but of course kind of um, debunking that earlier report that we heard that she would be backstopping all investments or at least circumventing Congress to ensure that all depositors, uh, uninsured deposits were safe. Uh, so what's your take on that? And how should investors be reading into these comments from her? Well, it looks like nerves have, have clearly settled down in the, in the last few days. There's more confidence. You know, Powell emphasized this yesterday that they were going to be there supporting, really backstopping the banks, uh, but at the same time continuing on against the, the fight uh, against inflation, which is exactly what he, he, we expected him to do and exactly what he, he needed to do. So it looks like confidence is back in the banking sector, but uh, business as usual when it comes to interest rate hikes and fighting inflation. Now, I have to shift gears here and talk about another story we've been following, of course, former President Donald Trump and a possible indictment. If he were to get arrested, what, if any, impact might that have on the markets? Well, you might you might see some increased volatility. And again, I think for us, what it comes down to is, is a lot of the unknowns and uncertainties is out there, which goes back to the earlier point that we really want to be focusing on risk management in the portfolio, how we're doing that strategically, um, going beyond some of the traditional approaches, because there is a lot of uncertainty out there, inflation, other issues like this one. Uh, we want to make sure that we're prepared uh, for the portfolio. All right. Tim Urbanowitz, head of research and investment strategy at Innovator ETS. Thank you so much. For